Hey everybody, Tim Norris here, aka Grey Elephant. And Carmen Norris. And welcome to a live play. This is going to be more of an interactive live play by Grey Elephant Gaming. What game are we playing today? Today we're going to be playing one of our favorites, Village. Yes, when this first came out, it instantly became a classic and a keeper for us. Yeah. And we've played it a lot of times. And we want to share this experience with you and kind of show you why we like the game. So it's an older title. Yeah. But it's a goodie, and we feel like it needs to be shown. Now, why are we going to consider this more of an interactive live play? Well, as we go along, we're going to explain to you why we're choosing to do the actions that we are taking. And we're going to secretly speak to you guys while the other person's not in the room about our strategy from one round to the next and whatnot. My strategy's simple. I want to try to... It's going to be a secret. I'm going to score more points than Carmen. Oh. Whoa, don't tell me that was your... Did you hear me? She's got a spy network over here. That's going to blow me away. I can't compete with that. <laughs> it's like the best like, strategy ever. It's kind of right? like when you watch a... How did you think of that? <laughs> it's because I watch a lot of sports. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like right before a football game, they always ask the coach, so what's your strategy going into this game? And I've yeah. been waiting for a coach to say, we're going to try to score more touchdowns than our opponent. You should be a coach. I know! You really should. That's how you win a game. That's how you win sports. That's how you win board games. New business board game coaches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're rambling. Let's get to the game. All right, so here's the way the game board looks in a two-player match. And the way you know it's a two-player match is because there are people already in the common grave and also the influence book or whatever this is book called. Of remembrance. Book of Remembrance. Thank you very much. Uh, you don't want to go into the common grave. You want to try to get your family members into the Book of Remembrance because mm -hmm. at the end of the game, you're going to get victory points based upon how many people you had in the Book of Remembrance. Uh, so how does this game work? Well, what we have done is there are one, two three, four, five, six, seven different types of actions you can take. And why don't we explain each one of these actions real quick for people who are not familiar with this game. What you'll do on your turn is you're going to take one of these colored cubes. Now each cube represents something different in the village. For instance, Carmen, what does an orange cube an represent? An orange cube is skill. And then, A green cube is persuasiveness. Mm -hmm. A brown cube is faith. George Michael. And <laughs> a pink cube is knowledge. Each one of these is a little piece of Soylent George Michael. Mm. Okay, uh, so that's what they're supposed to do. Now, the black ones, what is this? That is the plague. So yeah, if you take you one of those this. cubes, you're going to end up losing two time. Right, right. And it, then it doesn't do you any good after that either. Time, time does not wait for any man. So uh, time, you're going to be either paying for things with time or with resources. And each time that you have to pay with time, you're going to be moving your little marker around here. And each time you pass mm -hmm. this little bridge here, that means somebody dies. Either on your farm or somewhere out here on the player board as well. So that'll make sense as we're playing. So why don't we explain each one of these seven spaces uh, quickly, and then it'll all kind of make sense. We'll just start up here the simplest, okay? This is the market. Anytime somebody uh, takes this cube, they open up the market, all right? And then all you're going to be doing is is that you're, you, you look here, it says, hey, this guy wants three bags of grain. Okay, well, if you trade in your three bags of grain into the general supply, you take this tile, you can put it face down in front of you. That's going to be worth three victory points at the end of the game. Notice this is a scroll and an oxen, um, a bag of grain, and, and then these down here, after the uh, market day is over, will slide up. Now, the thing is, the person who opens the market gets to take one action without having to pay any penalty, but everybody else that precedes that player is going to have to pay one time and one green cube if they wish to try to perform an action in the market. And that uh, can go around the table, so the player who opened the market can then, once it gets back around to them, and as long as there are tiles up here, they even could go visit the market back, but it's also gonna, it's going to take them one persuasive and also one time as well. I thought I would mention at this point that you can actually take a cube and not perform the action. Exactly. You can just take a cube just to take a cube. What is required is that you do take a cube. You can't exactly. just skip your turn and not take one. 
This is traveling, and I love to travel in this game. It's one of my favorite traveling things. Traveling is awesome. And I will sing quite often that I'm a traveling man. <laughs> okay. Now, the reason you want to travel to many places as you can is that, depending on if you hit all six places, you're going to get 18 victory points at mm -hmm. the end of the game. That is a huge, huge, huge deal. And look deal. at all these other bonuses. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're going to get another bonus. Now, each time you visit a place, you put your little marker. You don't visit it a second time just once, all right? Um, so you don't get the bonus twice. But take the cube, and then what you have to do is you have to pay whatever listed here in between each one of this you know there's my start point there's my destination now i need to pay two time a wagon and two brown cubes and that's the way it works all around but as soon as you get there you're going to be able to put your marker down you're going to get the three victory points or a coin or extra cubes whatnot okay uh carmen what's this little spot here that is the spot where we produce grain. So you're going to take a cube, and then depending on what it says on your farm board, you take that much grain. For example, you had one person on your farm, you get two grain. But if you have a person, a plow, and a horse, then you get three grain. Now keep in mind, you cannot produce grain if there is not a person on your farm. That's right. Uh, and then, of course, we have the council chamber. This is Carmen. Carmen always visits the council chamber. Carmen, Carmen's always about this politics. This is politics. And uh, you take a cube, and then you get to put your person uh, in the first spot or move them up. And in order to do that, you're going to pay whatever is above the window. In this case, it's one time and either a scroll or two green cubes. And each time you move your person up, you have to pay this. Now what is neat is that once they're already in a spot, you just take a cube and then you get to perform the bonus action that's down here at the bottom, which is pretty powerful because you can get resources and cubes for free. Kind exactly. Of and then once they're locked in, you, you know, you don't even have to move them up if you don't want to. So if I wanted to, if I had a guy here, I could take the cube and then if I wanted to, take just two cubes of my choice again. So. Right. Or you could choose to pay this and move them up to get to the next this Step. is how we get more people, all right? So, you know, worker placement, that's kind of what the concept is here. This is how we get second, third, fourth generation people. What do I mean by that? Well, we all start with our first generation. We get four first generation family members on our farm. To be able to get our second generation, third generation, fourth generations, well, we need to get them on our farm by performing a family action. Now, one thing to note over here real fast is that whenever our, all the cubes are gone from an action space, that action space can no longer be taken unless you turn in three cubes of the exact same color, which would allow you then to do that. So I just want to point that out real quick. This is the wishy well Wishing mm -hmm. well. It's wishy-washy well. All right, so this is the church. Uh, take me to church. To be able to do this, just take a cube, and then what you can do is you can send a family member to church you could send them from your farm and put them into the this black bag and you will either pay two time or or three time i'm sorry or one brown cube which would be faith this is the black bag all right and it's already got four black monks that are in here and at the end of each round we're going to be pulling these um four people out of this bag but you can if you want pay a coin to look in there and pull your family member out. So you out. can use clairvoyance and pull a family member out. <laughs> <laughs> now the key here is is that whoever has the most people in the church at the end of each round is going to get two uh, victory points at the end of that round. Now if you're tied you'll both get the victory points but let's say we both have one person in then that's why you have this grain here. That's how you're going to like move the people up the ranks of the church. So like if Carmen had a person and I had a person but my person was the Pope and she was the Cardinal well then that <laughs> means that I would get the two victory points. Last but not least is our industrial area. Okay so we got one, two, three, four, five different spots to talk about in this one. So each time you take a cube you will then be able to, Carmen, You'll be able to perform one of these actions by either placing your worker here and making them an apprentice by uh, spending this time, and then you produce whatever resource you're wanting by spending that time. Or you can just not put a worker there, and you can just pay the cubes in order to purchase whatever resource it is that you're wanting. Exactly, and we've got plows, we've got wagons, we've got oxen, horses, scrolls, but this place is a little bit different in that you don't ever place a person, but you pay two bags of grain, and you would get two coins in exchange. All right, so now that you've got kind of a cool little overview on how the game works in a general sense, what we're going to do now is Carmen and I are both going to sit down, and we're going to talk a bit about what our strategy is for this first round. Well, here I am looking at the board, 
and I have to decide what my strategy is going to be for this first round. It's a bit overwhelming uh, for me to try to explain this to you because if you look at the board, look at how many cubes there are. That's how many actions we are going to get. So it's totally different than a worker placement game. I can't just, you know, oh, I have four people. I'm going to get four actions. No, the actions are actually based on the cubes. So there's going to be quite a bit there. But what I'm going to focus on first, I believe, is uh, making a wagon because wagons are required for traveling. And if you look over here, there's just so many bonuses for traveling. I mean, I could get three points right off the bat by going there. And then at the end of the game, I'm going to get more points, uh, you know, for depending on how many places I go. So I definitely want to get started on that right away. Now, the other thing I would like to get started on, I think, is the politics. And the reason I would like to get started on that is because... I'm first player, so uh, right here, you know, I don't want Tim to take that from me. So I'm going to get started on the politics. And another good thing about that, if you see uh, this little red symbol here, that means that whenever, if I'm the first one to die, I get to go here. That's the only spot for being remembered for being a politician. So I think that that's a pretty good strategy. Now, the third thing that I really need to focus on is getting someone in the church bag. And the reason I want to get in the two to church is because every round we get someone gets two points for having the majority of people in the church. And that's pretty important since it happens every round. All right. So for my strategy, it's uh, typically I love to travel. All right. Because at the end of the game, you could get 18 victory points if you hit all six of the areas. Uh, moving up in the council chamber is good because at the end of the game, if you have a guy here, you could get six victory points. Uh, going up in the church as much as you can is great because at the end of the game, you get these victory points listed here, depending on where you're at in the ranks of a church. But, 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 here's the thing that I noticed, and uh, this really caught my eye. Um, if we look up here in the market, we notice that grain, grain, okay, grain, and then something else that's in common, animal, 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 and then scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six of these first ones could be taken with just grain, scroll, animal. So what I'm wondering is if I should do is try to get my people in positions here onto the board, a guy here, and then immediately just start producing the animals that I need, try to get the grain I need, and then also get a person situated here to where I can start producing scrolls as well. So that's probably what my first round strategy is going to be. Okay, I'm first player. Here is the first action for the round. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here, take this green cube, and that's going to allow me to produce a family member. So here we go over here. Uh, number two family member. I don't know why I have them out of order, <laughs> but he's going to go right there on the farm because that's where new family members go. All right. And for me, I'm going to start in the industrial area. No. Now, ugh, we got some crap here and I'm not happy. Now she took a green one. Now what worries me is that she's going to try to use a second green one to maybe move up into there. I should probably take this one. Instead, I think I'll take this one though. So I'm going to place that there. Now, what that's going to allow me to do is I get to place anybody in these areas around through here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a person from my farm, and we're going to start making animals. So I am now training him to make animals. And what I'm going to do is instead of paying the grain because I don't have the grain, I'm going to pay the time to train him on how to make animals. So that's going to cost three time to even place him there. Now, each time I want to make an animal with as long as he's still there, it's only going to cost me the three time here. But for the initial animal, three time plus three times so a total is six times uh -oh. yeah so let me see okay one two three four five six that's very very expensive wow. but <clears throat> excuse me i am going to produce an ox so we're going to take an ox and we have now got an ox on my farm yay oh no i know exactly what he's doing here he's going to maximize that marketplace as much as possible look at all those ox that are up there in that market he's going to get so many points all right, it's my turn, and sweet, you left me the green cube. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you wanted all, that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at all that persuasiveness I have now. You are so persuasive. And now, 
<laughs> for the marketplace or uh, what industrial area, I'm going to place my number two guy. This is why I made him mm. because he's going to spend a lot of time over here and I don't want him dying too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go over build here wagons. and build wagons so I can start traveling. So it's going to cost me four time and then I'm going to be able to get my very first wagon. So here it is. And, and go ahead time, and spend my time. One, two, three, four. That's not as bad as making a horse. <laughs> oxen thank you not a horse <laughs> all right so so i was right she did want that great i'm gonna go because this is the last normal cube in this area from there it's gonna cost time so i'm gonna grab the brown one now and put it over here uh so what do i want to do i am thinking that that okay here's the thing to make the grain really uh I have an ox, but if I get to plow, each time I take a grain action, I get four pieces of grain. And I think that's a big deal. So let's make a plow. So we're going to place him up to here, and we'll just train him on how to make plows. Once again, though, uh -oh. that's costing me six times. So something about to happen. Uh -huh. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we crossed the bridge, so let's get our our plow first. I think right. burnt that bridge. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I do have my plow. But I did cross the bridge. That means somebody's going to have to die. So I have the choice of killing anybody in here. Now, if I do kill them in the industrial area, see this little shield here, the yellow. That signifies where they'd be placed in the Book of Remembrance. So the, if you look here, there's only two spaces open for the entire game in the Book of Remembrance. The so. only rule is your oldest family member has to die. That's right. And all of Tim's family members are number one. Are number ones. So any We're of them can die. We're number ones. <laughs> I am at, I'm thinking I will choose him. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on that yet, but I, yeah, I think I will. So okay. we're just going to have him die from uh, an accident here in the industrial uh, park. I'm surprised that you didn't kill somebody off the farm. It, it crossed my mind, but there's three spaces open in the farm. There's only two in the industrial, so I will solidify myself in the industrial spot. So I've got my plow, I've got my ox, and I'm starting to look solid here. We have all gathered today to mourn the death of Tim Jr., who died in a tragic industrial accident while making a plow. It was his first day on the job. He was just zealous, really wanted to get into making them plows, and unfortunately cut off both of his arms and legs in the process and his head. But at the same time, it was such an exciting moment that uh, we put him in the Book of Remembrance because nobody's ever done that before. So touching we won't forget you tim jr yeah we got we all the forget. pieces in there don't worry all right all right just make sure that they're all in there because you know we don't want his soul to be haunting the plow area now <laughs> okay well um i i'm gonna do something that's gonna require pink cubes so i think i better grab a pink cube i think we're gonna go over here and start oh, my political yeah. career I saw that <laughs> so here we go over here, take somebody off my farm and put them into politics. Mwahaha. Who was born seven years ago? So I'm going to have to pay my two green cubes and one time. And my political career is starting now, and I get to retain my little first player token. Ha mm -hmm. ha. So. Ha ha. Okay. Well, you really think you're funny as much I as am, you're laughing. I am an evil politician, apparently. <laughs> 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 and then that's it for my turn. And then for me, ha ha, I'm going to take some grain, ha ha, and I'm going to put this over here. Now, I do have my ox and my plow, so if I remember correctly, I've got a family member here, my ox, a plow, that means I'm going to gather four oh, pieces of man. grain. Oh, man, you're killing people off and you're going to bribe the church. I don't know who's more evil. I don't know either. Uh, so your grain goes here on your player board, and the one thing to remember is you can never have more than five pieces, unfortunately, otherwise I'd be a grain hog this game. Okay, well, if you look over here, both of the paths for traveling require two cubes. One is brown and one is pink. I already got started on the pink, but eh, there's brown and pink both on the board. I'm not too concerned. Now I've got to decide, do I want to make a family member or do I want grain? This is kind of a tough decision, actually. <laughs> um, making family members is fun. And making family members is kind of important because then I can stick them on the board somewhere and they don't have to die right away. I think I will... Take another pink cube, and we will make another family member. And so... Why don't you put them in order, and that way you're going to get Yeah, confused. I know. I keep getting confused because my number twos are in the middle instead of to the left. So now we have another family member. 
So now my question is, is that do I take the family action because there's only one cube there, or do I take the last grain action mm -hmm. and deny Carmen grain for this round? Now, if she takes the grain action, she's only going to get two bags. That's not that much. And not getting a family member would be a big deal. Uh, so I will take that, and then I'll add another family member to my player board as well. Okay, well, here's my probably my last chance to take any grain. But, eh, I'm not too worried about it. Grain I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take this green cube, which is going to allow me to take a church action. And, of course, I have another green cube, which Tim is really not happy about. <laughs> I'm going to take my little number two well, guy. Well, are you going to spin here. the brown cube, or are you going to spin the time? Look look here. you got to yeah, spin three see? time or brown uh -huh, cube. Uh-huh, exactly. That's, uh-huh. Uh, brown cube is not required, because I can spin the time. <laughs> so, little... Little Carmen Jr. is going to go in the bag to go to church. Go to church! <laughs> so I do have to spend my time, though. So let's go time. over here and spend three, two, three. Uh -oh. Three, Somebody... two, three? What kind of math are you using? <laughs> Am I going to die soon? <laughs> Okay, so we were uh, just discussing Carmen's new math, how you go from three, three to two, three. three. Yes. Uh, I'm going to continue with the strategy. Unfortunately, that means I will take a plague cube. Plague cube will instantly cost me two time. Whack, whack. But it will open up the industrial area for me again. So in that case, I will now stick my number two guy here, and we're going to start making scrolls. Scrolls cost two time. Well, to be able to, uh, you know, train him to make scrolls cost two time. Then to make the actual scroll will cost an additional two time. So a total of four time. Oh boy. One, so two, three, to kill four. People, huh? <laughs> well, it's kind of working that way at the moment. I mean, it's expensive to get people set up in the industrial complex, it costs you a lot of time. But I do have my scroll, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Ha <laughs> ha. He still left that cube for the grain. What a sucker. I'm I knew not a sucker. <laughs> I didn't need it. I knew I didn't have to worry about that. But look over here. Ooh, another green cube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so persuasive. I am the most persuasive politician yes, ever. You are. Okay, now I have got two pink cubes and a wagon. I wonder what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to send this little dude over here to start traveling. So you got to spend two time. A wagon and two pink cubes. And then he's going to go over here. I'm going to immediately get three points. So I'll move you up. Yes. And then I'm going to put my little <laughs> marker over here to show that I traveled to this town, which is going to help me at the end of the game. And uh, I'll make sure you spend your Tim's stuff. making sure I'm spending my stuff. <laughs> now look at this. Two time, one, two. Uh-oh. Oh, Somebody man. dies. Ooh, you know, a good strategy would yeah. possibly be to kill your traveler. Exactly. I am so sorry, but you're going to have to go in the Book of Remembrance. That would be the green shielded that space? That is the green space. There's only one spot there, so that was awesome. Roy was an adventurous traveler, and he will forever be known... You know, he only really made it one town over. But what he did in that town will never be forgotten. He was just such an enthusiastic individual that he paid for everybody's drinks. And then they got so drunk that they spilled them all and the whole place burned down. So I guess the real story about Roy's death will be how the heck did the place all burn down just because they spilled their drinks? <laughs> they were smoking at the same time. Oh my Man. god. What, what were they <laughs> drinking? I mean, that's a moonshine. <laughs> it was very flammable. <laughs> it, obviously, they were well intoxicated. All right, so uh, <laughs> I am going to open the market. So, Pink no. Cube, and uh, the market is now officially open. Now, what I get to do is. Because I open it, I get to do one of these, but I don't have to pay the time and the resource now, to be able to do it. Now, what's interesting about that is that I would have to pay it, and uh, where did my green cube you, you, go? Your green... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I spent your green ones instead of your pink ones. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you travel. All right. So okay. I have green cubes, though. So I am going to select this one here. This will be worth five victory points at the end of the game, but it cost me a scroll... And also a moo cow. So mm -hmm. we're going to place those there. Now it goes to Carmen. Carmen, is there anything in the market you would like? Now, look at this. is interesting. I do have a green cube. So you have to have a green cube and you have to be able to do something, which I don't have any grain. I don't have a scroll. So I guess I'm out of luck. You are out of luck. So it does go back to me. Now, for me to be able to do it, I will have to spend the one time and the green cube. Unfortunately, I don't have a green cube. However, um, a coin can represent any 
uh, cube of your choice. So if I wanted to, I could spin this and then I could spend three grain, which I'm going to. I'll spin the cube and then I'm going to also spin three grain because if you look here, I can gain another one of these tiles. So that was an eight point round for me, but it does cost me the one time to be able to do that. I think it's worth it. It may not. Now I've won games based upon it but before, um, but it may not be this time. So uh, Carmen is not going to do anything. So it does come back to me again. However, I'm done as well. So I'm going to move these up because the market now is officially over. We're going to slide these up as well. Put that there, put that there, and then bam, that'll be set up for the next market. Now, if you wanted to, you could spend three cubes, remember, a la wishing well to open the market back up again, but I don't know if either one of us will do it this round. Well, I'm really not sure what to do at this point because, uh, you know, taking grains not still a high yeah. priority for me. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and continue my political career. Ooh. I'm going to take this cube, which is a plague cube. So I'm going to go over here and lose two time for that. Yeah. And I, I got to spend my green cubes. That I already tried to spend on you. <laughs> yes. So I spend two green cubes and two time to move up. <clears throat> and now, because I'm in that spot, I'm going to be able to pick two cubes of my choice. This is kind of a tough decision for me. You should take the ring again. Yeah, I already have the <laughs> ring. So, no thanks. Um, but if, you, if I look up here, you know, my goal is to travel a lot. I see that it's going to require brown cubes. And then there was some reason I wanted pink ones. I can't remember at the time. Oh, yes. Pink ones are going to. <laughs> make more scrolls. Pink ones allow me to make more yeah. scrolls. <laughs> so I'm going to take a brown and a pink cube. So I'm going to go over here and get my cubes out of the supply. Add them to my own. And that's the end of my turn. All right, and for me, I am going to take the last plague cube no. out of the end. Of yeah, yeah, that's going to cost two times. So one, two. Now I did cross the bridge. We'll we'll get back to that in just a second. I am going to make another ox. Uh, so that would cost three more time because I've already got a guy there. So three more time. So one, two, three. I will get my ox. Why is the ox on top of the wagons? Did I do that? Yes, uh, you did. This means, once again, somebody is going to bite the bullet. So do I want this? I don't want to take either one of these out yet. Uh, in fact, I can't do this one anyway. So it'd be either him or it'd be one of the ones on the farm. I got two on the farm, so that's an easy choice to me. Uh, this person is going to go to this spot right here. How do I know? See the purple little shield? The purple little shield is found right here on your player board. That's how you know where to place them into the Book of Remembrance. Tim Arella was working hard early one morning on the farm, taking the slop out to feed the pigs. Unfortunately, she fell in, and the pigs ate her. Okay, well, it's my turn, and we're running out of options here. Basically, I get to choose whether I want plague, a brown cube, or an orange cube. <laughs> well, I want plague. <laughs> I don't think I want plague. Plus, if I take this one, uh, there's really no point to it because I don't have a wagon, and Tim's not going to take it either because he doesn't have a wagon, so I don't well, know. I might take it just because I want plague. And you just because just you want plague. Uh, I think I will take this brown cube right here because I like brown and... Uh, what is brown again? Faith. faith. I have so much faith. And I'm going to be able to make grain. And if I go over here to my farm, I see that I make two grain because I only have people on my farm. I don't have an ox or anything. I was surprised you did that. I expected you to take mm -hmm. this one from here and dump another family member into the church bag, uh, which that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to because that would have given you a great advantage to gain uh, the majority here in the church. I can still do that. Well, you could, but now it's going to cost you plague to do it, okay? All right, that's the key. <laughs> uh, so I will spend a brown one so I don't have to spend any time to place that person into the bag. And they have to come from our fam our farm, so it will come from my farm. And they're going to go into <laughs> the bag here with Carmen's family. <laughs> and then they'll be drawn out at the end of the round. Okay, it's my turn, and I have a choice between plague and plague, and I think <laughs> I'll take this one. He'll take now, here's Technically, the thing. Technically, you do have another choice. Don't you have coins still? Uh, you, I do have coins. You got two coins, which means technically you could open back up here, make another wagon. I, I can't open that up. I don't have... Oh, right. Substituting one coin for a brown, because you've already See, got two browns. I have two brown, but then there wouldn't be any point to making another wagon, because then I wouldn't have enough cubes left to travel with, <laughs> so it would... Yeah. Anyway, um, 
there's actually a strategy to taking the plague cubes. I probably should have taken more. So I'm going to take this plague cube and then I'm going to spend the time in order to go into the bag because <laughs> Tim's family members are dying before me. I'm and this dominating is the book of remembrance. Exactly. <laughs> we need to kill family members off a little quicker here. So I'm going to go over here and spend all this time. One, two for the plague, and then one, two, three in order to put a family member into the church bag. So in you go. No, I don't like churches. So my choices are limited here. I can take the plague cube. That's pretty much my only choice. But mm -hmm. I'm going to throw a little curveball. I'm going to spend two brown plus I'm going to spend my coin. All right. To represent a brown, I'm going to take a wishing well action instead, which allows me then to open up any one of these action spaces. I'm going to open up the industrial again. This time we're going to make a horse. Uh, with our guy here. So that's going to cost, if I want, I don't have the grain, so it will cost three more times. So one, two, and three. And then I also get a horse to add to my farm. Okay, there's one plague cube left, and I do still have a coin and two browns. I think I'm going to throw a curveball and use them. No! I, can't, I didn't expect. I did not see that coming. All right, so I have spent those for a wishing well action. Copycat. And my little person that is on the farm is going to go to work. He's going to go over here. Are you? And he's going to go make horses. Uh -huh. So that is six time for making a horse for my very first horse. And here we go. One, two, three, four, four five, five six. six. Oh, look at that. Somebody dies. I get my horse, and oh no, somebody had a tragic <laughs> industrial accident. We're going to the And look at that, the last spot in the industrial book of remembrance. Unfortunately, Shannon's bright career training horses was tragically cut short. She had planned on spending a lifetime in the horse training industry. But that day, she had decided to show off her new red shirt to her coworkers. And unbeknownst to her, Timon was training an ox in that same area and left the gate unlocked. Poor Shannon was chased down by the ox and gored to death. Did she seriously work with somebody named Timon and he was training an ox? Was the ox named Puma? <laughs> uh, that's what, it, yeah. Okay, so I am going to be forced to take the last plague cube, unfortunately, which did not do anything for me. So one, two, I don't have a wagon uh, or any of the necessary resources to travel. So that will end this round. Now, the what we do is we look, is the common grave full? No. Is uh, this area up here full? So the game's going to continue. And, and just so you know, once this book is full or the common grave, is full the, the, the other person has like one more turn and then that would be the end of the game regardless if it's the end of the round but just so you guys know i wanted to point that out now that there's no more cubes or anything like that the next thing we do is we are going to do the church action which means we're going to go to this black bag uh we're going to pull four uh family members out of this bag but before we do that if you wanted to you could pay a coin to pull uh, a family member of your choice out Carmen, would I you like to do that could pay a coin Ooh, that is tempting i think I think I will. I okay. think I'll pick a coin. So let's uh, see what's in here. We'll dump out the contents. And then uh, you could pull the family member of your choice. You do have a number one and a number two in the church I'll bag. I'll take the number two. Okay, so the number two will instantly just go right here then. Now the rest of them will go back into the bag because I don't have a coin to pay for that. Well, thank you very much. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. You should let me pull them out okay. of the bag. Well, we'll do that then. Here you go. Pull three more out. I'm going to pull out my own color. Watch this. Oh, that didn't work. That's, that's not your color. This one. This one's my color. Oh, oh no! Yay. No! Oh boy! Now one oh more boy! One more. Please, please, my color. No! Yes! All right. So that means both of us have entered into the church. Okay. Now what happens here is is that we have the option now. Go ahead and put those black ones back in. We have the option now to pay grain to be able to advance them up in the hierarchy of the church. So the first space right here is divided. It's just got one grain, which means Carmen, you could pay one grain from your farm if you wanted and to move I will them up. Do that. And I'm going to do the same thing too. Otherwise, um, she would end up having so majority. So we both move up and we're tied. So because we're tied, what that means is that it's the end of the round we both will get two points Woo! each so now what we're going to do is we are going to according to this little chart here it tells us how many e of each resources we put back into this green bag right here plus all the plague cubes and then we reseed all our little action spaces but before before we do all that why don't we get into our strategy and our thoughts of what we thought of this last round well apparently 
it is time to share our thoughts of what we thought of this round. Is that really what you said? <laughs> I think that is exactly that is what, what I said. said. Probably <laughs> quote, you could quote that verbatim. <laughs> We're going to share our thoughts of what we thought of this round. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> Alright, so let's start in the church. We're both tied. We both, uh, neither one of us got an advantage yes. there. So both of us got two points for that. That's great. We are equally pious. I feel like I'm rocking the industrial market. Yeah. So industrial market right now, I've got full control of that. I'm actually not doing too well at this point, I don't think, because, uh, you know, the my politician is going to have to die, so I'm going to have to start all that over again mm -hmm. uh, with uh, another family member, and unfortunately, he freaked me out by killing off family members so quickly that I felt like I had to catch up to him. I spit my brown cubes, and now I have only one spot uh, in the traveling area, Yeah. I, and... Mm -hmm. That was my strategy, was to try to get the traveling yeah. area as much as possible. But now that's not going to happen I, because I don't have the cubes for I that. felt you jumped the gun by spinning that, that mm -hmm. those two brown cubes and that gold coin to take the action again because I thought you were set up perfectly to take your travel action up there to the north. Right. So I, I really wasn't sure what why you did that. That felt a bit rushed it was, in my it, opinion. I felt like he was filling up the Book of Remembrance too quickly. And yeah. honestly, I still feel like that is happening because now my traveler has to get caught up. Yeah, but we're tied in the Book of Remembrance. So I feel like I was only one uh, family member ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you are going to catch up. The industrial complex, it certainly rushes the time because you're spending so much time yeah. to make the resources. I don't know. I feel like you rushed that one a little bit. But other than that... Uh, yeah, you do have your political member that's moving up a bit, you know, in office there. You do that every game, though, against me, so I'm not scared of that. <laughs> I think now for me, personally, my strategy will be to... So what do you think of that? I don't know. I don't think I can compete with that. Mm -hmm. So why don't we get this board reseated and each of us will talk about what our strategy is for this next round. Okay, I am first player, and I'm going to share a bit of my strategy with you. Because I'm first player, I'm going to be able to take this cube from the marketplace, and then Tim is not going to be able to sell anything at the market because he's not going to have a green cube or a coin to spend. So that's going to be my very first action. After that, I really need to uh, concentrate on making wagons so that I can go over here and travel. My very first travel action, I'm going to be able to get five points because I get three here and another two up here for uh, traveling to my second spot. In addition, what I would really like to do is go ahead and take this path as well so that I can get a coin because that coin is going to go over here and it's going to affect the church. Having the majority of people in church gets you two points every round. So that's a pretty big deal. Now my politician is, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. I know that they're probably going to die this round, which is going to put them in the last spot in the Book of Remembrance over here at the Red Shield. In addition, I can just stay here and get two cubes. I think that's a pretty good deal rather than spending, you know, cubes and time in order to move up. I think I'll just stay here and get two cubes. So there you go. That's my strategy for this round. All right, so strategy is not really going to change much for me. Um, I have an ox, a horse, and a plow, all right? Because if we look up here, uh, we're going to stick with what I feel like could possibly win me this game. Um, we need a horse here. We need an ox. We need an ox. Um, we need a wagon and an ox, but a horse and a plow and a horse. So all these are going to still come into play at some point in time. I need to do two things, uh, three technically. I need to get grain, all right? But the problem is is that I have no family members on my board, so I'm going to need to probably take a family action very early this coming around. I need to make scrolls because I need to scroll for this one and I need to scroll for this one. This one here is the one I really want to be able to try to obtain. Uh, so I'm thinking a scroll right off the bat would be a good idea or family member. Uh, the other thing is, is that... Um, I really want to start at least traveling to these first two spaces because, I mean, that is six points potentially I could be missing out on. Um, she already died in the Book of Remembrance with her traveler, so I have no chance of making that happen. She will also beat me with uh, the console because it's the console chamber here. So there's no way I'm going to be able to obtain that either. So um, 
trying to get anybody rushing them in there is not that big of a deal. Uh, I will have one more person that could die possibly in an industrial ac accident, but that's already been filled up, so I don't necessarily want that to happen. So I'm also thinking this round, um, I don't want to necessarily kill this person off immediately, but look, I'm only one space away from crossing there. So my thinking is, first couple actions, family actions, I might recall this guy uh, with one of them family actions, just for the simple fact that when I do cross this and I die here, uh, I can die on the farm instead, and then I will have a place for him in the Book of Remembrance. Okay, it's my turn, and like we talked about, I'm going to go ahead and hit the marketplace, but <laughs> there's something funny about that. You see in the marketplace what is required by itself here that I'm able to sell is an ox. And I knew that when I went over here to make one, but for some reason I got distracted by our little stories. I wanted her to be a horse trainer, and I grabbed a horse by accident. So... Tim was very gracious and allowed me to swap out my horse for an ox because it would have cost the same amount. So now I do have an ox and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and take that green cube, open up the marketplace, and I'm going to sell my ox and take this three points. Thank you very much. And then unfortunately I don't have anything, so I don't have any green cubes, no green so cubes, I cannot visit no the market. So it goes back to you. So um, it goes back to me if I want to use my green cube and a time, I could go ahead and uh, go back to the market uh, and maybe you would need sell a scroll, something else. Though, and you don't have a scroll. I do not have a scroll, so I guess the market is now closed. All right, and for me, uh, unfortunately, I have no other generation family members on my player board. Two play cubes and a green. I'm just going to take advantage of that immediately and take the green one. Seems like Carmen will probably eat them all up. And we have now given birth to another second generation family member. Well, I have a problem. I have no family members on my farm, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and take a plague cube so that I can put one of my family members on my farm. <laughs> two time! There go, two time for my plague. <laughs> All right, so for my next action, now that I do have a family member on my farm, I can take advantage of the grain action. Uh, and that will now, because I have the plow and also the oxen again, I'm going to be able to gain the four bags of grain for my farm as well. So that worked out kind of good for me. Well, I guess since I have a family member on my farm and they're probably not going to stay there, I had better grab <laughs> this so that I can make a grain because you can't make yes! grain at all. <laughs> Otherwise, so there we go. That's uh, two plate cubes in a row. Look. Yeah, there's two of time and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my <laughs> grain. Two. So two play cubes in a row for mm -hmm. you, you, you. I love that. Okay, uh, next let's uh, visit the industrial park here and let's grab a pink one. Let's just instantly turn that pink one in for a scroll here. Instead of using the time to pay for that, we'll just use the pink cube. So let's get myself a little scroll here. Get a little scroll on. This turn has been very disappointing. This round has been disappointing for me so far. I feel like every action I'm taking, I'm being forced to take it. <laughs> um, but I think I need to go ahead and make my wagon. So I will take an orange cube, and then I'm going to spend the two time to, for this dude yeah. to make a wagon over here. So there's my cube and my wagon. Carmen almost tried to cheat and didn't spend her time, but I reminded her, mm -hmm. so she's one away from uh, somebody dying, which, if we look, strategy-wise, that tells me for a fact she will end up killing off him. That's the only uh, first-generation guy that she has left. So, that could somewhat play some strategy in my, my favor if I wanted to try to manipulate that. I don't know if I want to... Mm -mm -mm. It's tough to say. All right. Uh, I am thinking let's uh, let's do it. Let's do this, do this, do this. Uh, we are going to place this family member from here by using this green one. Now, I do have two green, and I also have the scroll. Let's use the scroll, I'm thinking, and uh, we'll pay for his advancement into politics. Oh, no. And uh, that is going to also cost me one time. So let's move the time. It did cross the bridge, but I also am now going to be first player for the next round. Somebody's going to die. Mm -hmm. So my choice is, is to kill off my oxen or horse breeder or my person in church. 
we are going to die in church. So that means he is going to fill this space. Why did I do that? Because if I kill this guy off, see the yellow? It's all full. That means he would come to the common grave. That's not a good idea in my opinion. Plus, Based upon last round, we know how, you know, Carmen hyperventilates if I start getting ahead of her in the Book of Remembrance. Maybe <laughs> she'll do something silly and give me an, another advantage. Tim Sr., what a devout, pious man, always attending church. Well, this season they decided to do an addition onto the church. So they had a lot of heavy equipment out there, and uh, one of them just so happened to be a crane. Well, one day Tim was walking, and the crane hooked at the back of his belt and started hoisting him straight up into the air. That's not enough necessarily to be remembered for, but the fact that he screamed out, Sarsaparilla, it's the rapture! Right before he plummeted 20 feet to his death, well, it was hard not to laugh a little bit and remember. Tim Sr., you will be remembered. You're in a better place now. Sarsaparilla. All right, well, I don't have much choice again, I don't feel, because I really need to take this action. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this pink cube here, and that's going to allow me to take this action here with this guy, which is going to give me two cubes of my choice. And I just happen to know which cubes I need up here. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> two browns. Shh, just, just, shh, <laughs> like yeah, it's not a piece. <laughs> and I have two brown cubes. <laughs> All right, and then for me, I think I will take the last family action that's being allowed, and uh, we'll place that plague cube over there. We will count to time. Well, here we go. I've got to look at the color of cubes on the board, and it's really going to determine what I do here, so I'm going to have to take this pink one mm -hmm. and take my travel action. So for my travel action, I'm going to have to spend two brown, a wagon, and two time, which, oh, oh no! Somebody's gonna have to die. So let me go ahead and turn this in though. And uh, put my traveler up here to get started on a new That's path. Three more points. That is three more points. I cannot put place nope, things in okay. the right place when I have the camera, I go. swear. <laughs> All right, so uh, the oldest family member has to die. And unfortunately, I only have one. It is my politician. So Erica, I'm sorry, but you will be remembered. Erica, being a very devoted politician, was running for governor in Alaska, and in order to show just how important the community was to her, decided to sign up for a project cleaning up the shore with Greenpeace. Unfortunately, right when she grabbed a penguin in order to scrub the oil off of its feathers, this hungry killer whale came by and mistook her for the penguin and swallowed her whole. Are you sure the whale didn't burst into flames then? <laughs> you have to spill alcohol in order to happen. <laughs> um, I am going to take a brown cube from here. I'm just going to turn it into here, which is going to now allow me to add my number two family member into the bag, uh, the church bag. And then that way he can follow the footsteps of Tim Sr., but hopefully not 20 feet down to his death. I feel like there's just so many options this round, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is take an orange cube and go ahead and put this person to work making another wagon. So I go over here and I spend two time, get my wagon, and that's the end of my turn. No sense in making this too easy for her for travel. I'm just gonna take <laughs> this one here. I'm not gonna perform the travel action, but I do get the green cube and it's gonna make it more difficult for her to travel this round. Well, I'm gonna need brown cubes for my next travel action, but I'm also gonna need more wagons, so this is kind of a tough decision. I think I will go for a brown cube. Unfortunately, I don't have any family members in order to put in the bag, so I'm just taking the cube. That was fabulous, cuz I didn't have any family members either, and I wanted to do this action no! without being penalized. Um, I am going to make another scroll. So that would cost me either my last pink one that I have, or it would cost me two time. Um, I think I could spare the pink cube is what I'm going to do. So I'll spin a pink one, and then I will get myself another scroll. Well... I guess I had better go over here and use the wishing well. So I'm just going to go ahead and spend my three... Wait, wait, wait. Three I can't. I can't do that. Yeah, and you don't have a coin. 
Either. No, because I actually need a pink in order to travel. Why did I think I was going to be able to do that? I have no idea. Okay, well then I guess I will go over here, take this plague cube, and go ahead and make another wagon. Because, I mean, what else am I going to do? So that, uh... That's gonna cost me four time. That's a lot of time. One, two, three, four, and thank you for my wagon. Hmm. So my choices are limited. I could either take that last play cube, which does me no, no, uh -huh. no good, or I could spend one of my two groups of three here to take a wishing well action and open up something else again. I'm looking up here at the market. I could take advantage of this market. And uh, I don't know why I wouldn't do that. So I, I think I will spend three orange. Let's open the market back up and let's uh, start cashing in some of this jazz. So I am uh, the player who gets to take the first. I will take this one here, which is a horse and a scroll for six points. Now it goes over to Carmen and she can decide if she wants anything out of the market, but it will cost her one time and one green cube. Now I do have a green cube, but unfortunately all I have to sell is wagons. And as you can see, that's not gonna do me any good. Nope. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spend one green cube and one time, and I will take advantage of the market again. This time I will spend one grain and I'm also going to spin an ox as well. And that will now allow me to take this one right here. And that's another four points for me. Uh, now, Carmen's already passed, so she's pretty well done. So if I want to, which I cannot, I cannot anymore because I don't have any more scrolls. So I cannot take this last one here. So that would now end my turn. I don't know. I've been thinking and I do have the capability to use a wishing well action. If I did, I would probably use it in the family area so that I would have someone on my farm. Um, but because I take that church cube, I'm not going to be able to put anyone in the back. But if I take this family action, then he's going to take that. And I still won't be able to put anyone no. in the church bag. <laughs> so I guess I might as well take the plague cube and I get nothing for it. But I do lose two time. Yay, me. All right, so now that it's the end of the round because there's no cubes to take, we will now go to the church. Now, before Carmen pulls, you could spend coins if you wanted to to pull a family member out. Neither one of us have any coins. So Neither one of us. Four members will be drawn out of there. Carmen could. Oh, she will now take majority because I knew I did not have another yes. person. So go ahead and put them back into the bag. They start here. Now we can pay the grain to advance them if we choose. Carmen, you do have three grain. I have three grain as well. Would you like to advance any of them? I'm going to pay two grain grain to advance this guy up once. Um, and I might as well just pay one grain and I will advance this guy here, but I don't know if I want to pay any more grain than that. So uh, yeah, I think I'll hang on to that other grain there. Actually, you know what? Eh, let's just do it. Come on. Let's just, let's be pigs. Let's uh, spend two more and let's go ahead and just put this guy here. So uh, Carmen has majority, which means she will get two points. Oh God, you are running away from me on the scoreboard. Nicely done. That's the end of round two. Going into round three, this could very well be the last round we play because there's only three spaces yeah. still open in the Book of Remembrance. Now, all three of the common graves are open, and those could start being filled up instead of the Book of Remembrance. But let's face it, you get points from the Book of Remembrance. So. Yeah, and I tell you the truth, that's kind of probably my strategy for the next round is to try to get them in that book. There's two spots left for the farm. Obviously, I'm going to get the spot for the church because I got a number one guy in church now. Yeah, and he'll probably end up dying before. I can't do nothing about mm -hmm. that. So it's about the farm. Who who gets the farm? People right. die on the farm first. Though. Right. That's going to so, be the trick here. Another thing is that I wasn't able to travel twice. I was hoping you, to travel you did twice. Once. I did once. But I'm gonna really uh, gonna have to focus on traveling. You, you're killing me on the points. You got ten points to my two, so that's great. You got an advantage there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really happy about the fact that uh, I was able to get a couple more tiles for the market, which was yeah. You know, those are hidden points that are gonna come into play at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling I'm not actually killing him on points. The other thing I was able to do is uh, move into the console chamber as well with one of my family And I don't members. have any politicians now, no. so that's sad. But you did take church majority back from me, so that's mm -hmm. kind of a big deal too. I mean, that was two points. You know, I didn't get anything on that. Right, and as soon as you put somebody in the church, it's automatically two points. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. Now, the other thing too is that you're killing me on cubes. you got a lot more cubes you're carrying over to this round than what I have, which means... You do have the potential of a lot more wishing well actions. Hopefully. We'll Hopefully. see what happens. All right. So a uh, strategy for this round for me, here's the thing. Um, 
this is a big deal because I know she's going to get that last space there in church. That's going to tie us up. Uh, well, actually, she's going to take the, the lead from me on having family members in the book of remembrance. So I'm going to have to try to figure out a way that I can finagle things to get somebody into the book of remembrance to beat her. Because if you look here, uh, the point differential is a big deal. I mean, if you only get four, that's five different, you know, whoever gets four in there gets seven. Whoever gets five gets 12 points. That's, that's a big deal. I need those 12 points. Um, the other thing, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this, okay? Because I am going to be first player. Is very first thing I'm going to do the family action, all right? Um, what I'm going to do with that is, is I will bring my third generation family member. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, no, I won't do that. Instead, I'm going to recall this guy right here, and I'm going to put him on my player board. Okay. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because I need him to die here for me to be able to um, put him up there in the, in the, in his place on the in the book. I could have him die in the common grave, but I don't want that to happen. Now, the other thing I could do on my very next turn is I could take a plague cube and recall a second family member to my farm as well. And if I do that back to back, I think I could catch her off guard and uh, surprise her with that action. That would then kill this guy. Then this guy would be on my farm already prepared to die. And then I could worry about trying to maybe, you know, get the, uh, the next generation guys out there if I want to or not. Um, I don't know how much more I can do in the church, or I'm sorry, in the market. I'm pretty well drained. The only thing that stinks is, is that I'm seeing that there's a wagon and an ox here for six points. She's already got two wagons, so all she would need to do is get one ox, and then she would get that. I don't like that idea. Um, now the one other thing that I'm looking at, though, is that if I can just get a horse that, um, I've already got the plow on my farm right here, and I would then be able to turn that horse and the plow in to be able to get these six points. So at least those two could offset each other. So my goal is to get this tile here. So get a horse, get this. I want to recall him to my farm. I want to recall him to my farm, have him die, put into the book, and then try to rush to get him to die and put him into the book as well. So the, that this, this game should end pretty quick this round is what I'm thinking. Okay, well, we already know the first thing that's going to happen for me this round. Somebody's going to die. I wonder who. My only number one left. He's going to have to go over here in the church area. You know, I was thinking I should use a family action to recall this guy here, uh, because this is a number two, and then they will be in the farm for my next death. But the thing is, there are two spots left for the farm, so that's not a big hurry, actually. At first, you know, I could let Tim fill one spot up, and then I could try to go ahead and fill up the other spot. Because, I don't know, that's quite a few points. Last game, though, I really focused on the book a little too much, I think, and I really need to focus on traveling. Traveling, it just, it gives you so many points and bonuses. I, I really think traveling's better than politics. And speaking of that, also with politics, the bonuses that you get, for example, sorry about that glare, uh, you get three points, but you have to spend a coin. Over here in the church, you get two points as soon as you put a guy in, and you get two points every time you have majority. So I really think the church is a better strategy. So that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to try to make another wagon uh, before I lose that guy. And I am going to try to travel as much as possible, even if it means taking wishing well actions. Now, another thing to consider is that I know that Tim is probably still working this market pretty much. Um, at the moment, he doesn't have anything to sell there, so it might be kind of funny to use the market up again, but I don't know. I should probably focus more on what I need to do. All right, so for my first action, I will do a family auction. Mm -hmm. So I will take this pink cube, but instead of adding a third generation of my farm, I shall recall my I breeder. <laughs> so hello and welcome back to the farm, my friend. Well, we talked about what I need to focus on, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead Traveling. and take this green cube, and uh, I'm going to move up here, which is going to require two time a wagon, and uh, Is it two orange? one pink and one pink. two orange. All right, I got your wagon, your one pink and your one orange. But somebody going to die, aren't they? And uh, 
I get a coin. Mm -hmm. I got your coin. All right, so you did take you to the right cubes. I yep. see that. Yes, somebody's going to have to die, die because it requires two time. Yep. And I think this person right here is going to die in church. Yeah. You will be remembered. Well, Charles never missed a special feast day at church. And this was an especially great day because he was going to be singing in the choir. He was proud, standing right behind his wife on stage. But unfortunately, when he went to take a deep breath to let out a long note, the feather from her hat went down his throat and he <laughs> suffocated to death. Well, he got remembered for choking on a <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take a second family action. I will he take was a plague singing cube. Singing for the Lord when he took <laughs> on that feather. He sure was. So that's two. Once again, I am going to recall a family member back to the farm. Uh oh. Okay. I'm not gonna let Tim push me around and tell me what to do. So I think what I'm gonna do is just focus on traveling like I was push going you to. Over. So, well, you know, my first reaction. Why don't you have to go <laughs> Well, you know, my first reaction would be to take this cube and do a family action because there's only one family action left, right? No, I'm not going to let you force me into that. I'm going to go ahead and do my travel action. I'm my own woman. That's right. So uh, my plague cube is going to cost time. me two time. And then traveling is going to cost time. me uh -huh. two more time. So, um yeah, I'm then, about halfway uh, to somebody dying already. Okay, and then uh, up here we see one brown cube, two pink, a wagon. I'm going to go right yep, there. So I got all that for you. I'm going to mark that spot because <laughs> I traveled there. Yes, you did. And now I get to choose two cubes. Well, um, I'm not sure. I mean, traveling again is yeah. really kind of open either way. I mean, I could take... Either one of those paths. Um, and you do have a coin to offset one of the colors if you need. That's good. Ah, that is pretty sweet. Um, so if I take a brown and an orange. Going up here would probably be smarter because then they would at least get let you get mm -hmm. two cubes again to where you could travel down, possibly. Let's see. And then my wagon maker's over here. We've got green cubes going okay. on over here. I think I'll take a brown and an orange. So here we go. And I am ready. Oh, push you around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the last family no! action. No! Yes! Ugh. And uh, I will get my third generation on the board, and that costs two time. Yes, 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 yes! Dang it, dang it, dang it. I really didn't think he was going to take that third <laughs> family action. Now look, look, my farm is empty. <laughs> this is bad. Really this is bad. very bad. But I'm going to focus on traveling like I said I was going to do. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to take an orange cube. And we're going to make a wagon with two mm -hmm. time. So one, two, and, and thank wagon. you for my wagon. All right. And then for me, um, I'm going to take my third generation guy. And we're going to put him to work here making horses. And we will take, let's take the green one here. And uh, we'll put that cube over there. Uh, so that is going to cost six total time. I'm going to make a horse. So with six time, one, two, three, four, five, six. That does kill a family member. That means he will die on the farm or she. But I also get my little horsey here. Timarella, the wife of Senior Tim, distraught and troubled, couldn't focus on her job anymore after the death of her husband, so decided to return back to the farm. Well, it wasn't so tragic or awful the way she died. In fact, she got to witness the birth of a third-generation family member before passing away peacefully in her own bed. Oh, come on. Did you think I was going to make another joke? Okay. I'm very tempted to just recall a family member. I have two green cubes and a coin. I could spin that. I could recall a family member because I have no one on my farm. I can't get grain. I can't put anyone in the church bag. I mean, my hands are really tied. There's really nothing I can do at this point. I I can't really kill anyone because if I do, guess what happens? <laughs> they go, they, they the go in the common grave because yep. they're not, they're not in the farm. So, um, you know what I'm going to do though? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend my three green cubes, okay. technically, and I'm going to take 
a travel action. Whew, man. That's so, actually a good idea. I, it's going to take this person over here, which means I get my coin back. So that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. I spend two time, a wagon, and my... Um, I got and you. Tim's got time. everything. Yep. And there's your coin as well. <laughs> All and right. Let's put your marker on. Put my marker on there. there we go. All right. And that's going to be a lot of points. Yeah. All right. So for me, uh, I think I'm just going to grab me some grain. So I'm going to grab this brown cube and I'll place it here. And I will grab three bags of grain because I do have a horse on my farm. And a plow. And a plow. The sad thing is that I can't get enough grain to do any good because I need four in order to move that guy yeah. up. So it's not going to do me any good at all. Um, I am just going to take a brown cube and I'm going to forego my action. All right. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to take a pink cube from here. Um, but I am also going to forego my action. Uh, so I will not take this action here. I wonder if Tim knows what I'm doing. I'm going to take a brown cube, and I'm going to forego my action. I think I know what she... All right, so I'm taking a brown one from here. Uh, I'm going to spend a pink one, and I'm going to make a scroll. So I'll see if I'm right, see if uh, she's going to do what I think she's about to do, though. Oh, look at that. I have three cubes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a wishing well action in order to recall a family member yep. from right here. I, this person uh, here is going to go on my farm. They're not dead yet. I know. And these are going to be turned in. That was goofy of me. That was so goofy of me. I cannot believe I let you do that. Um, well, it... <sighs> Let's just open up the market. I, I have what I need for the market. So that's going to cost two time for me to open the market. One, two. It does go to me first. I'll turn in my horse and my plow. And uh, that is going to get me this tile right here. So that'll at least be six points. And then Carmen, um, you don't really have anything. I have so no green cubes. All right. So I will use a green one and one time. And that'll let me to visit the market again. Uh, this time I will turn in my scroll and a bag of grain. And I will gather up this one as well. So, boy, let's hope these things pay off because, man, oh, man, I sure paid dearly for that mistake. Well, this is it. I don't see anything else that I could do. I mean, I could take this guy and put him somewhere, but I don't see the point to it because if I put him right there... That's a lot of points. Yeah. That's a lot of points. It's five so, points. I guess I will take a plague cube. Where do I want to get the plague? From church or from politics? <laughs> I'll get the plague from politics. I went to vote and there were there were people there hacking all over me. <laughs> so um one, two. That's two for the plague, and this person's gonna die. That's the last spot. So that's gonna give me one more action and then the game will be over. Young Francis was so excited to vote today because this would be his first time being of age to vote. So he hitched up the wagon and was on his way. But unfortunately, he was in such a hurry that he forgot to put the screw between the wagon and the horses, and the wagon ran off the side of a cliff. So let me make sure I got this right, okay? He, he didn't even hitch up the horse to the wagon, but still was able to gain enough momentum no, no, to no, no, run no. himself off the side of a cliff. So the horses were hitched to the wagon, but he only put one screw in. Was supposed to have three. Okay, so well, so well they're pegs, not screws. Right. But he was in a hurry and did a really shoddy job hitching the horses. Yeah, to the I, 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 I'm sensing a lot of shoddiness all around. <laughs> um, so. <clears throat> I've got one action left to do. Um, I can't put anybody left over there. Carmen's got that done. Um, I could move this guy up in politics. That would be two points. Um, I think what I want to do is yeah. I'm going to move this guy up. So to be able to do that, I'm going to take this last cube, and I'm going to grab myself. Oh, yeah, yes, I can. Okay, good, good, good. I was about to say, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I saw that. That's really... And that will give me my two bags of grain, That's which bad. will then That's allow me to points. move up to there. In there do we have anybody in it in the back nope no we Just don't us. so this is kind of a big deal that means there's nobody to draw out of the church bag she cannot move up i could spend my four grain yeah. to move up <clears throat> which will then give me majority 
because I'm the highest ranking uh, member in the church. So, so that was just a trade off. One, basically. two. I get the points over here. He gets them in the church. Yep. So, all right. So that will end up being the game. Now, what we do is we go around and we add up in game victory points. There's nothing for the market. So we'll just use these. Nothing for the market. Well, we'll do market last because that's going to kind of be the deciding factor. Let's go here first. Carmen traveled to five different places, which gave her 14 total points. I unfortunately didn't go anywhere, which gave me zero. So, ugh, huge, huge, huge. Um, I did not move up any more in my politics. So, mm -hmm. if you look here in the corner, I could have possibly gotten two points, which I did not. The Book of Remembrance, Carmen has five, which gives her 12. I've got four, which gives me seven. So, ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, the church, Carmen will get four, I will get six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, how many points are you ahead of me now? What is that? Holy uh, moly. So you're at 17 and I am at 40. So you are 23 points ahead of me? <laughs> I need yeah. at least 23 points from these. You ready? Three points, move me up. Six points, move me up. Four points, move me up. Six points, move me up. Uh-oh. Three points, move me up. Five points, move me up. I have one, too. And then what was yours? It comes down to this. Three points. Yes! Oh, look at that. Wow. Yes! What a game! I cannot believe that you, one point, one point. You realize if I would have just kept you from getting that grain on his very last uh, action. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. fact, you would have had time. Well, maybe you would have had time, maybe not. Um, I'm not sure I'd have to think back, but possibly I could have taken an action to try to produce another horse or something and tried to... You know, kill off I, my farm. I probably could have went ahead and took the cube no. to keep him from getting the grain first. Yeah. And then went ahead and killed off my last family member. Yeah, in fact you yeah. could have because I would not have had three of a kind. Nor did I have a coin to be able to take the uh, industrial action again. Mm -hmm. Which means that for a fact I, I would not have been able to send my last family member on the farm to the grave. So if so. I would have just thought of that. That was a good game though. That was a good game. It was a lot of fun. Um, so because I did win, I get the little token here. This is a big deal. So, um, that, yes. that's me and my beautiful bride. We are in the village and we'll take, that'd be you and me then technically, right? I guess I end up yeah. winning after all. There uh, you go. You got the man, <laughs> but I got the game and the token. So I won the game, the token and the woman, but she won the man. So in a way it's still a win for you more than me. Oh yeah. I got the better end of the deal, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, we hope you guys enjoyed this little format. We hope you enjoyed the live play, and look out for another one to be coming here pretty and, soon. And be kind about my silly stories, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.